Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and you can find me on all social media social media channels as Knit Plan Jess. Thank you guys so much for joining me. We are actually going to be doing a February setup in my bullet journal, including the first week of February, which is February or it's actually January 30th through February 5th. So I, I have it all sketched out, planned out. So, and I'm really excited, but if you are curious to see how I'm going to be setting it up for February, because it is going to be very different than what, what I did for January, but if you're curious to see how I set it up and what I do, stay tuned. So this bullet journal video is going to follow kind of the same um the same outline as what my other bullet journal videos where i will kind of talk a little bit about what i'm going to be doing and then when i'm actually setting up the pages i will just go ahead and have it kind of sped up and then i will just be doing a voiceover so let's go ahead before though i work on the pages let's go ahead and talk about january um, so overall i'm really really pleased with how it has been working for me in january um, i will kind of go into more like if there's any pages that really didn't get used i'll talk more about that as i do my monthly reflection but overall i'm really really happy with this so i'm going to be doing for february a quote page because I want to have. Let's see, am I trying to think? Is this the one with the with the snarky quote? Yes, my bujo is the one with the snarky quote. My content planner, my social media planner, is the one with the non snarky quote. So I'm going to have a quote, which I already have picked out, and then I'm going to have my February monthly, which I'm going to be using stickers from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. And like that will just go right there. And then these stickers will be used for my monthly calendar, which I have sketched out because I'm taking a very different approach for my monthly calendar compared to what I did for January. And then I just have a really simple um, monthly dashboard page, which is going to include a brain dump, a brain dump section, and it's going to include a habit tracker um, for five different habit trackers. And then I have an idea for how I want to set up the weeks because they are all going to include Dutch doors. And I'm so excited about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in and I will talk more about how I'm setting up the weeks as I'm actually creating them. I also have Duke in the background and he's yelling at me and I don't know why. But anyways... Markers, these are Tombow and Amazon Basics. We have stickers, I have washi, and then I have some stamps. I even got out these little cat stamps because I'm like, I kind of want to use them. I'll probably at least use the book one. And then I have ink, and then I even have a little rubber block for when I need it for the, the stamps. All right, let's go ahead and jump into setting up my bullet journal for February and the first week of February. Whenever I like to set up my bullet journals, I always like to start from the very first page, which in this case is going to be the quote and setting up the sticker for the February month. Um, these stickers again come from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop and I really like it because it kind of helps me come up with a color palette to use for starting out that month. The quote that I'm using says, without Valentine's Day, February would be, well, J January or something like that. I really, really love the quote because to me it's kind of fun, it's kind of snarky, and it's also 100% true. February is seriously just like another January, the only difference is the holidays and the fact that we have Valentine's Day to make it all bright and pink and sparkly and fun, when in reality, February is not that. 
Um, I really love the snarky quotes to start out the month. And then I will be using just a regular um, kind of inspiring and motivational quote in my content planner. I think that's just like a fun way to differentiate both of my bullet journals. So I did actually forget to put in the dots as I was doing this quote, but a Tombow marker worked really, really well. Just some food for thought for those who may be setting up a bullet journal yourself or may be considering it for the future. If you want to include a quote, but you don't want to use stamps, you can actually just be able to find a quote online and print it out as a sticker or print it out on regular paper and then just use glue or a Tombow adhesive to actually adhere it to the page. I really love the look of the stamps because it gives it that perfectly imperfect look that I'm pretty sure you guys hear me talk about all the time. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put in some stickers. Um, so then that way I can be able to just bring a little bit more decoration to the page. And then it's setting up my monthly calendar. So the monthly calendar was intentionally set up to only include the days of the month. The first starts on a Wednesday, which is why it is on the left, right-hand side of the page. And it goes all the way through Tuesday. So it is like literally a perfect four weeks because there's only 28 days. I really love how the calendar turned out because... It allows me to put stickers on the page, but in a way that's different than what I did for January. While I do love my January monthly, I kind of learned that I am just not a person who does very well to use a monthly functionally. And when I say that, I'm referring to like having a lot of spaces to be able to write down to do's and reminders and notes. So I'm taking a different approach for my February monthly where I'm just going to allow myself to be able to write in the days during the week and I'll probably put in like a couple of boxes on the side so I can be able to write down notes. So I definitely wanted to use the stickers from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop so I just used them one on the left side, one on the right side, and I did alternate whether I used it on the top or the bottom of the page, and I really love how it looks together. And then I just used my stamps to be able to put in the days of the week. So if you remember my January calendar, I did not put the days of the week, and while it wasn't a deal breaker, and obviously I used it enough <laughs> without it, I definitely wanted to have the days of the week this time. And then I was trying to decide how I wanted to write in the month and I just opted to go ahead and use some stickers. Yes, I started to put in January and then I had to remove it and put in February. I don't know what I was thinking. And, you know, honestly, I don't know if I super love how the monthly, the month looks, but I kind of figure worst case, if I decide that I want to replace it and use something else for the month, I can. And funny enough, looking at it, I'm kind of wondering if I even spelled February correctly. That's the kind of things that go through. Oh no, look at that. I didn't spell it correctly. I'm going to have to go back and fix that. Yay me. Okay, so now I'm going to be working on my... Um, it's kind of like my monthly dashboard page. So I'm just allowing myself a space to have a monthly brain dump. And then I'm going to give myself a habit tracker where I'm going to be um, hopefully, hopefully tracking um, some habits that I'm trying to keep during the month. So the habits that I'm trying to keep during the month is no junk food, making sure that I stay, I hydrate, you know, usually about 60 to 80 ounces of water a day, um, no spend, no fast food, and then um, making sure that I'm doing my skincare. So I did a really bad job of tracking this in January. However, I know that I also did a really good job of actually staying on track with like no fast food. 
and keeping up with the perfectly imperfect. I did not use a ruler on any of this and I am kind of loving it. So now that that page is done, I'm going to go ahead and start creating the Dutch doors for the weeks. So I essentially planned out which week is going to be on which page. And then I just basically made a line for where I wanted to cut it. And I went ahead and used my corner punch because I wanted to give each page that rounded corner. And then I'm just going to have my washi page. So then this way, doesn't matter really what page that I'm on, I will always be able to see a little bit of the washi sticking out just to kind of give like that fun color. I didn't have washi that perfectly matched with the stickers that I use for the monthly calendar or even the stickers like the colors that I used for the week. But I really like this one because it gave me some of the purples and like some of those pinkish purples. But then it just gave me like a wide variety of colors and I might kind of use colors each week that will work specifically with this color palette. But this was just something fun that I wanted to do. There was really no purpose to it. I just wanted to bring in some washi and bring in some color. And I just thought that Dutch doors would be a fun idea. I will admit, as I was trying to trim the washi from the bottom of it, I kept unintentionally cutting into the other pages of the Dutch door. So if you try something like this, um, it may actually be better just to use a craft knife to trim off any excess washi because in that way you can see exactly where you are trying to trim. So now I'm just going to go ahead and um, just basically put in my calendar using um, pen and then I used a February stamp. So I always like to highlight the week that um, is for that specific page. So I went ahead and just used the yellow because I'm kind of keeping up with like that burgundy and yellow colors. And then the box was using the, the yellow or it's like a goldish yellow. And then I just put in tasks. And then I just did some different length lines to separate each of the weeks because I'm just going to use the weekly as kind of like a horizontal format. And the entire month is going to follow the same thing where I have the calendar on one side, my task page um, underneath of the calendar, and then the other side of the Dutch door will be having the horizontal days of the week. And then I just using my stamps again, just to, I just felt like using stamps. But overall, I really, really love how this turned out. Um, and I'm really excited to set up the rest of the month like this. Because of the fact that I cannot go any type of spread without using stickers, I decided to use the purple and the burgundy stickers from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. This was actually from one of her uh, little sticker books that I feel like I bought maybe a year ago or so. But I'm trying to use a lot of my small business stickers when I'm doing my Bujo spreads. And her floral stickers are just absolutely perfect for it. So I just put these around and just to kind of bring in some more of that burgundy color, but then also bring in some of that purple color. The purple color may not match with like the monthly, but I really like how it looks. So the rest of this is really just kind of using up like the last stickers that I have because one of my goals is to use as many stickers as I possibly can. Um, I overall, I really, really like how this spread turned out. Um, I like the fact that I even drew in a sticker inside of the task box because it kind of gave that a little bit of decoration that I think turned out really well. So I just want to say a huge thank you guys for joining me on my newest bullet journal video. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it gives you ideas and inspiration. So thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.